Well, Merry Christmas. I want to welcome you to St. Joseph's Church and on behalf of all of our parishes here at St. Joseph's in Bellevue, St. Catharines, St. Donatus, and St. Peter and Paul in Springbrook, I want to wish you a very merry and joyful and peaceful Christmas. Today I'd like to share with you the thoughts I have as we celebrate Christmas in 2023. I'd like to share with you a portion of the Gospel of St. John, the beginning. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, and the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by a human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. I share that with you because of that verse. He came to his own in the world, but his own did not accept him. But those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. If you remember here at the manger scene, Mary and Joseph had nowhere to go. They went to different places to find room in the inn, and there was no room. They had to come to a cave, a stable, for Jesus to be born in Bethlehem. And that's the constant question for all of us. When Jesus shows up in our life, are we going to welcome him into the home of our lives, into the home of our families, into the home of our relationships, into the home of our work, into the home of all the other activities that we are busied about? Are we going to welcome Jesus when he shows up at the front door and wants to be part of our lives? Or are we going to tell him, there's no room for you in this inn? I pray that this Christmas, there will be room for Jesus for you to welcome him into your lives in a new and profound way. Because he is the Prince of Peace, the source of all joy, the source of all the fulfillment of your desires that you have in life. And that's what we're going to celebrate as we have Christmas Mass this weekend. So please come and celebrate with your family and friends. I hope you enjoy your parties and family gatherings. But remember, one of the knocks at the door this weekend will be the Christ child. And I pray that you will have the faith and the generosity and the openness to welcome him into your life in a new and profound way. Merry Christmas. I just want to go over our wonderful weekend for celebrating Christmas. We first celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent coming up. So we have our normal schedule on Saturday at St. Joe's at 5 p.m. But we have a special Sunday Mass schedule, 9.15 a.m. here at St. Joe's for the fourth Sunday of Advent and 9.15 a.m. Mass at St. Donatus for the fourth Sunday of Advent. And then we go right into our Christmas schedule. 4 p.m. here at St. Joseph's, 4 p.m. at St. Catherine's, 6 p.m. at St. Donatus, 6 p.m. at St. Peter and Paul in Springbrook. And then midnight, we will join the Sisters of Our Lady of the Mississippi Abbey for their Midnight Mass, which I have the privilege of presiding at. And then on Christmas Day, we'll have 9 a.m. Mass here at St. Joseph's. The 4 p.m and the 9 a.m. Mass here at St. Joseph's will be live stream. So if you're unable to join us, please join us on that live stream for the celebration of Christmas. May God bless you and may Jesus give you joy and peace. And may Almighty God bless you as we celebrate Christmas. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. <laughs>